dear students in the last uh, lesson i have covered uh, the chapter the concept of literature for the continuation of the same from page number 5 second unit second here it is uh, the great author m h abraham he wrote uh, one book the name of the book is the mirror and the lamp the mirror and the lamp m h abraham identified four components four components for literary communication then what are the four components for literary communication here the four components which helps for the communication are number 1 world bar society second one audience bar reader third is author bar writer fourth work bar text and again he classifies literary theories according to what component is given in the most attention they are mimetic theories pragmatic theories expressive theories and objective theories so let us uh, go one by one so of these uh, components literary components these literary components are helpful for the communication number one that is world bar society what is this uh, world bar society what we have in this world bar society so here mr abraham says literature is a social institution using as its medium language see in one sense i have explained in the last uh, chapter literature is the reflection of society it mirrors the society what uh, the society is we see the same here in literature and that's why we use the language because language is a very important uh, vehicle through the language we explain we define we say whatever that is there in the society and that's why such a traditional uh, literary devices means uh, in this the author is using some devices the devices like uh, symbolism and meter as they are in social uh, nature there are conventions and norms which could have arisen only in society they are available in the society norms conditions conventions traditions they are available in the society furthermore literature represents life what do you find in the literature literature is nothing but a life whose life human life and uh, life is a social reality man is a part and parcel of the society we are going to read the history of man in literature so when man is a part and parcel of the society and uh, the author himself is the member of the society he is going to give us 
the manners the tastes the activities and uh, his interests his opinions and his joy his entertainment the total the author is presenting us from the help of the language the poet himself is a member of society so he is also living because man is a social animal initially man is a social animal man uh, don't want to live alone he is a member of the society he has a little status in the society and he receives some appreciations he receives some recognition in the society and he gets some rewards in the society so the author is addressing the audience and he is addressing the audience um hypothetical in nature imaginative in nature so he is addressing what he is intending what he is wishing to say so that's why literature has usually arisen in close connection with particular social institutions you have to see that literature it has been originated out from this social institution or from the society and uh, in early societies we may even be unable to distinguish poetry from ritual magic work or play so this is what uh, something in the earlier times in the ancient times we have not uh, the division of uh, these into poetry and uh, division of uh, these into rituals magic work or so and so because all of them have been included in the literature all of them were the forms of literature it was not the division made earlier but uh, in the recent times in the modern times we have several 